Of making gains, and that's what we have been doing. So don't worry, I haven't made a video for about two weeks, but the gains are still being made, and um, I'm feeling good. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey! You know, the work life balance is still out of whack, and I still need to get that back into balance but um, basically the last two weeks guys I think the last video I told you how I spent seven grand in one week I think that's one of the last videos and that was that was around about day 154 I want to say something like that so it's been another couple of weeks and I've got some of the stuff that I bought online um, so I'm going to show you that right now in fact this package right here is probably the one that I've been looking forward to the most and um, it's just arrived about two and a half weeks after I fucking ordered it. So what I want to say is um, Nike.com, I, I honestly wouldn't go through the website. If you can find the product that you want in a shop, I'd say fucking buy it in the shop. I wish I never went online. I wish I just went down to the local sports store and bought my shit there because I don't know if it's Alice Springs or what. I mean, obviously it, it mean obviously it is Alice Springs being rural, but fuck, it's taken a long time for shit to get here. And like, I've been checking my box every day, and it's just really disheartening to not see your packages there when you've paid this money, and all you want is to fucking put this shit on. But regardless of that, uh, today's video, I'm just getting back into it. I, as far as training and dieting goes, things have been going pretty well. A sleep has probably been five or six hours a night, if that, um, because I am working 12 hour days, as you guys know, seven till seven, whether that be a day shift or night shift, but I've been training five or six times a week and hitting each muscle group at least once a week. Um, arms, I've been hitting twice a week. Chest, I've been hitting probably about three times a fortnight. And if I'm gonna say one muscle group that I've been really slack with, it's once again, legs. So I'll go through stages where I'll, I'll really smash legs. I'm in, a, I'm in a great mood to, I'm in a great headspace to go in there and, and train and push them hard. Because as you guys know, to, to get anything out of a leg workout, you've got to go pretty hard. So uh, my head really just, I don't know. I, I, I finish work after 12 hours and I think, <laughs> am I going to do legs or am I going to do something like arms? And I just end up taking the easy option. But today I've got a day off. It's a Friday. Uh, yesterday was Australia Day, so today is the 27th of January, and um, I'm going to train some legs, so that's good. I'll take the camera down, show you, show you guys a few sets. That's one other thing that I wanted to talk about was my equipment for YouTube. So, I'm still using my phone. I can't, it fucks me off because I want to be on camera talking to you guys, and I want to be able to look at my phone and like, tap, like, at some... I don't know, macros or whatever, and be able to tell you them, but I can't, so I've got to look on my phone, write everything down that I want to talk about, like numbers and things, have that here, and then set my phone up, and then talk. So that's all about to change. I've, I've had my hand forced, to be honest. Um, my computer fucked up, and so my laptop is shot, it's gone. I think the graphics card is fried, so that sucks. Um, that's also another reason why I haven't sort of made any videos or haven't done any editing or I haven't even watched fuck all YouTube in the last two weeks because my computer's been fucked up. So my hand has been forced, like I said, and I'm going to buy a pretty decent laptop. I was considering the computer again, but you know, I will be traveling and I want to be able to do it on the go. So, you know, edit and edit shit on the go basically. So uh, a laptop it is, and I'll probably be spending another two and a half grand on a fucking proper gaming laptop with a good 
uh, graphics card, a lot of memory, you know, I want it to be fast. That laptop was fucking shit, I'm not going to lie, it was, it was an i5 processor, it was full of stuff on there, it was just getting slower and slower, and I ended up actually cracking the screen. So I cracked the screen, I was using the laptop on the TV with HDMI cable, next minute the whole laptop fucked up. So I'm getting a new laptop and at the same time I'm going to get a camera as well. So we're going with the Canon G7X Mark II, which is a, a well-known vlogging camera. Um, I, it's either that or I go for a DSLR like a Canon 80D which I can then put on uh, some lenses on the front. Um, I haven't honestly decided on the camera, but I know that I'm going to be buying a laptop, so I may as well, may as well say fuck it and, and go all out, buy the camera, I'm going to get a microphone for it, I'm going to get uh, a tripod, so basically I'm going to have that whole, that whole setup man, that fucking mint vlogging setup that a lot of the successful vloggers have. So I'm really excited about that, although it's going to be another four grand spent. But in saying that, I am working a lot of hours, so I can afford it. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, let's get into this. So, Culture Kings, I ordered some shit from, and three days later, that the warehouse had a huge fire. They lost all their stock. So, unfortunately, which really, really fucked me off, my Culture Kings order was cancelled. So, I went on to this other website for streetwear called ASOS. And I think it's UK based, but they've got they've got somewhere in Australia as well. And basically, guys, it's just blank. It's sort of it's plain stuff. So a lot of the gym, well, especially the Australian gym wear, uh, the singlets and t-shirts and things have this this logo. It's this brand because these guys not only do they sell like individual pieces, but you can buy anything from their site in bulk at a wholesale price. So if I was going to start making singlets or t-shirts or something, I'd be buying, you know, a hundred singlets from these guys at five bucks each or ten bucks each and um, putting my logo on the front and then selling them at a markup. So I, I went through their collection and got uh, some t-shirts and some, some tank tops and also some like raglan sort of stuff. Um, I've always said that I like my t-shirts having a long sleeve. I think they call it, they might call it an extended sleeve or something like that. Um, which actually comes over the bicep. Uh, you can roll it up if you like, but when it's just sitting there naturally, it's going to be over the bicep. It's not going to be fucking tight up here. I find that tight tops that have the sleeve up here, eventually the sleeve is going to become, you know, loose, and a loose sleeve looks like absolute shit. I fucking hate it. Unless it's covering the whole arm, in which case I don't care if it's loose because I'm not trying to show off my arm or anything. So. With that said, let's let's get into this. So I replaced my Culture Kings order with this stuff. And I got a few things, fair few things. But like I said in my previous video, I wanted to stock up so I didn't have to worry about it for a long time. And that's what we did. So I got an oversized three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. I got an oversized t-shirt with rib extension. I got oversized, oversized, oversized. Every single one of my t-shirts is an oversized size, which is the, the, the style that I like. I like the old school shit, like the bodybuilding stuff back in the 70s and 80s. Like the, the just the, the stuff that sort of hangs off you, you know, it's got, you know, long uh, neck, not long necklines, it's got long sleeves, it's, it's quite baggy in the torso. Um, I like that kind of shit, so that's what I got, but um, let's have a look. Honestly, actually, but I don't really want to open them until I'm going to fucking wear them, but I've got, so if you can imagine that fit that I just told you guys, I've got one in black, I've got one in pink, which is also Puma which is pretty sick. So we've got black, we've got pink, we've got another pink in a different fit. We've got a two pack of inks in white and black, or black and white. <laughs> we've got a gray one, gray t-shirt, 
We've got a tan, oh actually they call this beige. Another Puma one in beige, which is sick. We've got like a tan color. And we've got another sort of salmon, actually they call this rose, a rose color. So, yeah, that's, I mean, all these colors I really, really like. And we've also got this one too, which is sort of like a thicker ribbed um, long sleeve top. It's not open. Fuck, that's, that's fucking huge. Oh my god, that's massive, but it's still, it's in the fit that I, I know I like. Hmm, okay, cool. I'm going to try on the pink puma top, which is called a men's lounge loose tee in candy pink in size XL. Let's try it. Might we a pig to the gym? That'll be a first. Sick. Nice and long. Sleeves are long enough. Boom. Alright, well, like I said, I'm not gonna actually open this. I'm gonna I'm gonna act like I'm a celebrity or a freaking movie star or something, and I'm gonna have a new shirt for every day of the week. And just open it up. So that's cool. That's haul number one, and now we wait. We wait for the rest of the stuff, because we've got some cool shit coming. I've also got a big order from MassiveJoes.com coming in. Uh, new supplements, I got some new training equipment, um, as well as some apparel, some more stuff. So I got some training singlets, um, a raglan top, uh, things like that, some shorts I think, so, but for now, we're going to head to the gym, smash a leg workout, here's how the, the, the pins are looking, I don't know man, I feel like they're losing a bit of size, I mean I've still got this sort of separation here, so I'm quite happy about that, but, you know, can always work on them, <sighs> okay, alright, so let's get going. All right, everybody, what is going on? We're back with another voiceover. Just a quick one. I'm going to let you guys watch the majority of this set, but I just wanted to explain uh, how it went down. So the first exercise for every leg workout is usually a compound exercise, unless I want to go with lighter weight on the compound exercise, in which case I will pre-exhaust my legs on some isolation work. But today, we went straight over to the barbell squat, Plenty of warm-up sets. I did a working set with 100, 120, 130, and then I went for 140 kgs, which is what you're seeing right here. And it was my final set, which was a drop set, a triple drop, intense as fuck, which is what you gotta have. I mean, I got six reps on the uh, 140, dropped it down to two plates, got another eight, dropped it down to one plate, got another 10. And um, I do come and talk to you guys after this set and tell you how the, uh, the leg workout went. So I'll leave you guys here, enjoy the rest of the set. It was a hard one, but it was a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Legacy, 
Reaching out. 